Hello there, real estate agents, and welcome back to the latest video in this video series in which we're covering how you can go from being an agent who receives bad contact information, people that aren't motivated, and people that already have real estate agents or people that just aren't your ideal clientele, and how to go to a system that allows you to generate a consistent and predictable flow of people that have real contact information that are actually motivated and they actually meet your ideal criteria. Now, in the first video, if you've been staying tuned to this series, we already covered the issue of how to make sure you're receiving real contact information. If you haven't had a chance to watch that, feel free to go back and do so. And in the second video, we already covered how to weed out all of the looky loos, tire kickers, and time wasters that are not motivated. So if you haven't had a chance to check out that one, feel free to do that as well. And now here in this third video, now that we have real contact information and we have people that are actually motivated, we're gonna make sure that we're actually filtering out the people that aren't your ideal clientele and making sure that we're only getting your ideal clientele on the phone. And more specifically, how to do that by leveraging human beings. My name is Mason Armbruster. I am the president and founder of Constant Closings, a real estate specific marketing company that helps agents, teams, and brokerages across the United States add an average of three extra clients a month by doing their custom marketing, generating leads, and then putting those leads through multiple stages of qualification so they only receive the best of the best on the phone and on their calendar as appointments. Now, throughout the years of doing this for many, many people across the United States, we've become very good at the filtration process. And specifically when it comes to leveraging other human beings, or what you may have heard referred to before as ISAs or inside sales agents in order to make sure you're getting the highest quality lead on the phone that you possibly can. And that's what we wanna jump through in this video. Now we have real contact information and we have people that are actually motivated. We wanna weed out the people like renters, people that already have buyer or seller agreements with other agents, or maybe people that are just in very low price points that you simply don't wanna work with. Let's jump into first why you would want to leverage a human being. Now you may be wondering why would we wanna leverage a human being rather than leveraging something like artificial intelligence, which is something that we've already covered in the past videos. Well, although we've covered artificial intelligence and other means of technology, there are really four big pros to why you would want to leverage a human being. The first being a touch of a human is more personal and it's more engaging. Nobody's going to be able to communicate with another lead or another human being as well as another human being can. And so you'll find that leveraging a human being will result in a much more personal, engaging touch that results in more booked appointments, more live transfers, or simply more clients added. And the second reason is you can dive deeper. If you've already watched the other two videos in this series, you've noticed we've talked about leveraging AI and long form surveys and long form forms. And so when we're going through those things, we talked about the restrictions, rules and regulations of online platforms and what questions you can ask on there and what questions you can. So especially when it comes to Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, platforms like that, they have very precise regulations on what type of questions you can ask and what type of questions you can't. But once you get somebody on the phone speaking to a human being, you can dive a lot deeper and you can ask the questions that you may not have been able to ask because of the restrictions and regulations on those online platforms. For instance, you can ask them about their credit score. You can ask them about their motivations of why they're looking to buy and sell. Anything that's gonna require a longer answer from the lead as well, like their motivations, isn't something you would necessarily put on a form or a survey because nobody's gonna to wanna to type out a really long answer. You wanna minimize friction up front and then find out more information and dive deeper once you actually have that individual on the phone. So again, it'll be more personal, it'd be more engaging, but second, you can dive deeper, which will allow you to find out how serious this individual is, if they are truly somebody that you want to help, and if they are, it'll allow you to build rapport with this individual faster because the actual human and human conversation that you're having with them on the phone. So that's the second thing. The third big pro to using and leveraging a human being or an inside sales agent is that you buy back some time. If you or your team is spending hours a day calling, texting, and emailing, nurturing leads in your database or new leads that are coming into your database, you can now put that on the plate of the ISA so you have more time to do the money-making activities. Because let's face it, in real estate, your money-making activities are only happening when you're showing homes, 
listing properties and closing deals. If you're doing anything outside of that, it's not a money making activity. Now it may result in making money, but if you can leverage somebody else to do it, so you have more time in a day to focus on the three things that I just mentioned, you're gonna be making more money, you're gonna leverage somebody else, and you're gonna be making much more efficient use of your time. And lastly, the fourth point of why you may want to leverage an inside sales agent and the reason we do for all of our clients is because you can leverage them for appointment reminders and no shows. So not only will they do all of the initial calling, texting and email nurturing to pull out the best leads for you, have a deeper dive into conversation, filter out the people that already have other real estate agents, filter out the people in low price points, but you can also leverage them to make sure you have a higher show up rates for the appointments that they do book for you. So they can do appointment reminder calls. So for instance, our agents, a lot of times we'll have our sales agents for our clients call either at the beginning of the day or a couple hours before for their scheduled appointment with our real estate agents so they can confirm that that lead is still going to be showing up. And if the lead is not going to be showing up, we'll simply rebook it for our agents. They'll get a rebooking notification and then they they don't need to waste their time at two o'clock if that person rescheduled for, let's say, four o'clock. And so you can leverage them to make sure you're getting the most out of your appointments as well. Not just screening the people and getting the initial appointment, but making sure more people are actually showing up for set appointments. And then hand in hand with that, you can also leverage them to cover your no-shows. So you can use them to not just book the appointment and make sure there's a higher chance of people showing up, but if they don't show up for their appointment still, even after those reminders, then you can leverage them to chase those leads down and get them booked back on your calendar or transfer back to a phone call to you like we do for our clients. So you're no longer left, if somebody doesn't show up for the appointment, chasing them around, trying to send them a text. And we know that everybody goes through that at some point in their real estate career where you're supposed to have an appointment with somebody or you're receiving leads from somebody and they're not going through the proper qualification. So you're just left chasing, chasing and chasing. And what we want is the people coming to you. We want people coming inbound rather than you having to do all that outbound effort. And so if you have one of these inside sales agents leveraging one of these human beings, not only will they help you filter out the people to book the appointments, make sure there's a higher chance of them showing up with those appointment reminders, but they can also help you chase down all of those no-shows as well so that you're not spending the time to do that. Again, it all comes back to the third point, which is maximizing your time. So you're spending your time focusing on the three big money-making activities, showing homes, listing properties, and closing deals. Now, some could say that there is a con associated with hiring an inside sales agent, and that is you're going to have to take the time to hire, train and manage that individual. Now, that being said, although you can do all that yourself and somebody could say that that is a con, in my personal opinion, I would say all of the pros, the four pros we just talked about far outweigh the time and the con associated with having to hire, train and manage that person. Because the time it takes you to hire, train and manage, you're gonna get your money back tenfold by the higher quality opportunities you're having on the phone and all of that time you're buying back. So I think it's worth it. Now, although that's the case, you may still not wanna take the time to do so. You may not have the time to do so, or maybe you just wanna shortcut the effort and you just wanna outsource that to somebody else. And in that case, although we're not quite done with this video, you can always click the link below, book a call with our team, see if we're a good fit, and see if we can just take care of all of this for you like we do all of our other clients across the United States. So now that we've covered why we would wanna leverage a human being and hire an inside sales agent, I wanna talk about how we do that, because you may be wondering that now. So I wanna give you a quick overview of how we do it here and how I would suggest you do it based on our years of experience in the business of hiring, training, and sourcing individuals and managing them on a regular basis as well. First and foremost, we typically like to go with non-local talent, meaning we're not typically hiring somebody that's actually sitting in the office place working with our clients. We're usually hiring somebody that's working remote. And there's two reasons for us hiring that non-local talent. And the first one is that if you are hiring local, you are limiting your talent pool. What I mean by that, of course, is that there's only going to be so many people located in your area if you're not in a huge city like L.A. or New York. And so your level of talent 
is going to be limited to the people that are actually located in your area. And the people in your area may not have the level of experience to be a, inside, a successful inside sales agent or somebody that can pick up the scripts and run with it right away and become a high performing inside sales agent for you. So if you look more nationally or non-locally, just in general, you have basically broadened your horizon in terms of your talent pool. And you're much more likely to come across somebody that could be a great fit for the position and would take a lot less time to hire, train, and be much easier to manage. So in our instance, for our clients, we typically focus on non-local talent that's within the United States or expats that were once in the United States and then may have moved to another country. For example, we have some people that are uh, just south of the border from California into Mexico, born and raised in Los Angeles, but for one reason or another, because of family or just personal uh, living goals, they decided to move south of the border. Uh, so they are native English speakers. And a great part about that is not only are they native English speakers, but they're typically also bilingual. And so you are, you're not cutting off your nose to spite your face. You can take advantage of as many opportunities that come your way in terms of leads as you possibly can, because now instead of having somebody that just speak in, speaks English, you also have somebody on the line that is bilingual. So that's the first big reason, the talent pool. The other reason that it can be great to hire non-local talent is because of expenses. Think of it this way. If you hired, sourced, and trained somebody in your local area, which again, you can successfully do, and I know a lot of people that have done it, what you can do is you can hire that person, but you gotta think about the extra expenses associated with that person. You may have to get them an extra phone. You may have to get them an extra desk. Uh, you may have to worry about the management of overseeing them or training them while you're there. Uh, you may have to, I don't know, say need an extra parking space. Uh, and then of course you have to think about maybe the extra electricity or the flushing of the toilets that that person may be doing. And all of those things are things that you don't have to worry about if you hire non-local talent. Mm -hmm. So it can help out with expense as well. On the other, on the flip side, if you're also working with somebody who is an expat, so I used the example of earlier of somebody maybe that was born and raised in LA, but now they live just south of the border in Mexico, you can also use the uh, currency exchange to your advantage as well. What I mean by that is mm -hmm. if you're hiring local talent, that local talent in your area is gonna be expecting a salary of anywhere from let's say 30, 50, 60, maybe upwards of 60 grand a year. And if you're hiring non-local talent, especially non-local talent that may be in another country, if they are an expat, like a lot of the people that we hire, source and train for our clients, you can use the currency exchange to your advantage, meaning you can still pay them a very, very healthy salary in their home country because of the currency exchange, but it also allows you to have less US dollars, less uh, expenses on your side in terms of payroll because of that currency exchange. Now, again, this is not about taking advantage of somebody because you should never, ever do that, but it's just leveraging the currency exchange to your advantage of both of you, where you can pay them a very healthy salary, the same salary in their equivalent country as an expat that you would be paying that person that was here in the United States. So to them, an equivalent of 50 to 60 grand a year in their home country. But for you, that may only be, for them to receive 50 to 60 grand, may only be 30 to 40. And so you can also save on expenses. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're going to find this non-local talent, the way we go about doing it in the most efficient manner is by running advertisements. Mm -hmm. The same way that we run custom marketing and advertisements for our clients all across the United States to generate hundreds of leads for their database a month to filter out those tens and tens of appointments and live transfers we get them, we also run ads to get people to fill out applications for these positions. And so we run advertisements in the United States and a few other select countries where there are a lot of expatriates, as I described earlier, and then we simply put them through an onboarding process. They fill out that application, and then after they filled out their applications, we will have somebody who filters through those applications to find the best applicants. We schedule interviews, and then after we've done an interview, of course, we hire our best candidates. One of, once we've hired our best candidates, then they go through a training process. Again, if this is something you're not using us to do, but you're doing yourself, typically we do a training process of about two weeks. During that two weeks, you're gonna to wanna to spend about one to two hours per day, mm -hmm. trainer and trainee together, role-playing, practicing the phone scripts and everything that you have at your disposal to give them to make sure they are successful on the phone. So that's gonna be scripting, role-playing, uh, overcoming objections, 
talking to them about the lead qualification factors in terms of what leads to scrub out, what leads to push through to you and your team, all those types of things. So again, about one to two hours a day with trainer and trainee for about two weeks, meaning at least 10 business days. And then by then, they should be up and running, functioning on their own. And then after that, you just have some quality control. So maybe once a week for the first month, you're going in and thoroughly checking, if not more, um, now, I, I say once a week because there may be you may be a solo agent. And if you're a solo agent, you may not have the time to go in every day to do quality control checks on their phone calls. And that's why a lot of the solo agents we partner with leverage us because we're doing it almost every day. We're jumping in, we're checking out the calls that those sales agents are making, and then we give them feedback on those calls so they know what they've done well and what they need to improve upon. And boom, that's it. Before you know it, they are off to the races and now you have bought back all that precious time to focus on your money making activities. Mm -hmm. You've now leveraged the tactics in the first video to make sure you have real name, phone number, and email. You leverage the tactics in our second video of this series to make sure you actually have people on the phone that are motivated. Mm -hmm. And now you just learned why and how you can use inside sales agents to weed out all the people that have low price points, that already have other real estate agents, or people that just aren't your ideal clientele. If you'd like to see more details specifically on the hiring, sourcing and training process when it comes to inside sales agents, feel free to drop a comment in the section below. I'd love to film a more in-depth video on that process if it's something you guys would like to see. Now that we've talked about all the advantages of why you may want to use an inside sales agent and if you see all of the value in that and you want to get that up and running as soon as possible without you having to do any of the sourcing, hiring, training, managing, then click the button below in the description to book a call with our team to see if we're a good fit so that we can put all these pieces in place for you so that you can buy back that time without having to do any of the work yourself. And as always, thank you so much for tuning into this video and this series. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the future series on this channel. Oh, 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 oh,